Good afternoon. It is Tuesday, July 6th. Just got off work. It's a little stressed out still just from yesterday and I don't know why. I know a number of possible reasons why, but I don't know. So I'm like, you know what? I want to get a nice, nice bite to eat. So I'm at Cecil Whitaker's. Gonna pick up uh, pizza and a salad. So I now have a great lunch, some uh, salad, which I really enjoy, and you know, a nice pizza, which will likely leave some leftovers as well. I picked that up so I can settle in and watch a movie from movie day. I've been, I've been thinking a bit about it. Uh -huh. The next James Bond movie has more behind the scenes features that I need to watch and I barely got through the ones from last time. I'm like, I need a little free time from that so I gotta watch something I've seen the, the, the features for already. And thinking about some options, I'm like, you know what? Uh, with Family d d there's a little Robin Hood influence in some of that. Let's watch Robin Hood. I got a few versions of that. So, um... Let's watch the funny one. <laughs> Men in tights. That'd be fun. Watch Mel Brooks comedy. Yes, please sign me up. So yeah. Uh, settle in, have some nice lunch, and watch Robin Hood Men in Tights. And I would give Robin Hood Men in Tights a 6.7 out of 10. It's silly. It's fun. Um, and I go into it with the idea of, okay, I, I want to watch a Robin Hood movie. I'm like, uh, let's just remember some of the story beats in that. And I chose the comedy one. So I'm only getting the main story beats and everything else is, is just completely out there. Um, it's a Mel Brooks film and it definitely has some moments where I'm like, ooh, people could not, you could not get away with that in a movie today. But it's silly. And you know, I, I know full well he's taking, you know, making safe jokes about himself and, and you know, where he comes from as anyone else. Uh, I mean, he himself plays the character of Rabbi Tuckman. So, uh, definitely, definitely having some liberties with the story. Now, this is particularly a parody of the Robin Hood Prince of Thieves. Um, just as far as the main story progression that it follows. It is, it is definitely parodying that movie, um, which I haven't seen that movie in ages. In fact, the reason I chose this one over that one is because this one is shorter, and I need to do editing this evening. Um, but it's funny. Um, it has It has a line in the... Okay, so following that story progression starts off with um, Robin getting out of, you know, breaking his way out of jail in, whatever, Middle East from being involved with the Crusades with King Richard and returning home, finding his lands no longer belong to his family. In fact, finding his castle being towed away, uh, he unites with a true the son of an ally he made while in Jerusalem, the Middle East. Um, played by Dave Chappelle. Quite funny. Um, and so he returns home and he finds his family's blind servant, Blinken. You know, you, you see things with Prince John. Um, you see things with the Sheriff of Rottingham. Um, Robin goes on to make allies with um, Little John and William Scarlet Malera, um, starting 
his band of merry men, et cetera, th so on moving forward. Romance desires with Maid Marian, who's got a chastity belt. <sighs> if only Robin knew he had the key all along. Literally, his father left him the key to the greatest treasure in all the land, Maid Marian's chastity belt. Uh, but along the way, Blinken delivers what is among my favorite lines in any movie that my brain always remembers. And that, that is Blinken, the blind servant, is up in the watchtower at the, the camp of the Merriman. So Robin, returning to camp, rides up. And looks up and he sees well, really he sees a blind man on watch what are you doing Blinken and Blinken responds guessing I guess nobody is coming and it's silly and stupid and I love it so much because <laughs> he's not keeping watch he's just like hey, I guess we're fine I'm up here So that 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 is that is a golden moment in this movie, um, and you know you get whatever the the archery contest and and just etc. Um, you know, a, a boiled down version of the Robin Hood story with uh, definitely some heavy inspiration from Prince of Thieves, in even just some of the tertiary characters added and plot bits. Um, the sheriff is extremely creepy and rapey, as he was in Prince of Thieves. Uh, so, um, you know, you got you got to solidify this is a bad guy before Robin runs him through with a sword. Spoilers. <laughs> Although they don't allow that to be a simple fate. They make it worse. <laughs> but, uh, and of course, King Richard returns in the end. I think, was it Patrick Stewart <laughs> as King Richard? Just for his little cameo there. Uh, to, you know, reward uh, Robin and see the marriage to him and Maid Marian. Happily ever after. And there's a number of times where they, at this point, Mel Brooks is referencing his own other movies. It's just as far as the way, you know, little, little throff joke lines in this movie. Like, it is based on the assumption that you have watched his other movies. You're like, oh, this is, they're not, they're not thinking this is going to be your first Mel Brooks movie by any means. They're assuming, well, they're assuming you've seen, um... Well, let's see. I think that's History of the World, is it part one. I forget what it's actually called. And um, Blazing Saddles. And possibly some others. There might be other Mel Brooks movies that it's assuming you've seen that I just haven't seen. Because I get the jokes that are references to each of those movies. I have both of those movies. Um, I don't recall any joke related to producers or Spaceballs, but I don't know if either of those came after this or not. Um, but Mel Brooks comedy is funny and just not something that it's it's different than comedy today because because uh, it goes at the mindset of make fun of everybody instead of we well, can't make fun of people <laughs> so Wouldn't want it to be the only comedy, but I enjoy it as part of comedy out there, and uh, Robin was funny. And also had some songs, which, like, some of them are, I mean, they're funny songs, but I mean, I'm, I listen to songs that are funny songs, and some of them, like, skirt the line between sort of funny and sort of, like, this could be a serious song. Um, they're good. It's got some nice musical numbers. 
which I love a movie with some musical numbers. Anyways, it's fun. It's silly. It's a bit offensive. If you like that, but you've probably already seen it. It's it's like from 1993, I think. So I mean, I, I assume you've already seen the movie. Uh, but <laughs> another movie off the list. I'm watching another one now. I gotta come in here and edit. I have one more Bones video that I need to get edited, and. Um, the sooner I do it, um, hopefully the sooner I become less stressed, if that's the cause of stress. I don't know. So I'll work on that. Thank you for joining me, and join me as my journey continues. Bye.